So when yeah. you can go, let's run through this, like this, this, this your your fest's um, memories. Really, we'll yeah. we'll go through each of you. Just want to get your your like your little journey um, throughout that weekend and what you what your highlights were and everything like that. Yeah. So um, let's go with uh, Mark first. What, run us through your experience of it, Mark. Uh, yeah, well, I've just been to the last two US festivals, uh, so I just wanted to go to the UK one. Uh, just to, uh, well, I wanted to go anyway, but also just to see quite a few people I met over there as well. So, uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, uh, it was excellent, but also because of uh, uh, what I do on the Twin Peaks uh, Scotia, Twin Peaks Scotia Twitter account and Instagram account, I built up quite a lot of uh, followers, but also just be discussing the UK and uh, Ireland fans really, and also European fans uh, like Mario. I've known Mario for years. I've not yeah. ever done for mm-hmm. online for years, but I've never met them. So uh, it was really just great just to meet like the UK and European fans because that's why I really sort of went for it. Was just to uh, put faces to names, but also just to hang about with yeah. everyone. Really, so uh, but also because of the end of the series, so I thought it was uh, really important just to be there. Uh, but uh, I was excellent. I get to the days, and I uh, just. Uh, the the glass box is amazing, uh, just with attention to detail, and uh, I think uh, what Laura uh, mentioned on our Twin Peaks on that uh, podcast that it was just like sort of you've been talking to all these people for years and months, uh, some you've met, some you haven't, and just uh, it was just like a big family really. It was just that way that everybody just clicked and they were about the same person you'd been sort of speaking to online. Yeah. Really, so that, that's what was great about it, really. So it was just like a big family, and yeah, just over the two days, like, it was always something to do, people to meet, uh, just uh, ha- have a really good time. Uh, just really enjoyed it uh, downstairs, really, uh, just in the road time, so that was great. But uh, that's the difference between the US and the UK festival. There's always something to do at the UK festival, whereas the US when sometimes uh, there's a bit of a lull, like, uh, but the US, the UK festival's got, Maybe if you want to watch Firework Me, you can do that, or else if you want to play Twingo, that's going at the same time. Yeah. There's always that's a lot right. of it. Yeah. You've got the choice, you've got the choice here where you want to go. If you want to yeah. step out of something, you can, or, Definitely. you know, there's plenty yeah. of things to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about you, George? What, 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 what do you, um, what's your sort of thoughts about it? I mean, it was your first one, wasn't it, as well? Oh, me, it was my first one. Yeah. Um, so I, I wasn't even planning on going when I first. <laughs> When up, um, right. Well, I, I I knew people from Twin Peaks groups, and they knew me because I had you know made a name for myself, making posts and all the stuff like that. Um, so so I've been in talks with Jimmy and Laura and Cheryl for ages. Um, and yeah, for the longest time they were all asking me, you know, because they they were all planning to go to the Peaks Fest. To like represent the big 2017 group um, as a whole because they were mods and they were asking me because I lived in London like are you gonna go and I was like I, I don't know um, and then I kind of missed the window on all the tickets so I thought oh, that's a shame but they came down you know for the first anyway and they were like since we're here you know we we'll meet up on that Friday night and I thought why not so I went there and I just I don't know. Like I, I was expecting that to be it, um, but that that was all sort of surreal to meet everyone that you've been seeing around in you know online in person. I recognised Christian first, obviously, yeah. um, and then yeah, that whole night on Friday night at the pub that was all really cool. And then I think Laura mentioned to me uh, before I came that you know Christian Scott massive house that you're staying at you'll you'll be perfectly welcome to stay there and then you know end of the pub and they're closing down and they asked me you know uh hey you could you could come stay with us if that's all right and i thought that was really nice and i was like yeah sure um so i stayed at the airbnb with you guys with you luke and blake and people yeah um and then i in the morning i took the uber back into town with you guys not planning to go to the fest, it was just uh, needed to get back into town because that's where buses and trains were at. Um, but then, you know, you get into the queue and I recognized a few more people and I was just making conversation. And 
I just sort of wandered in with everyone else and happened, you know, it was a bit sneaky. I just asked, have you got any spare tickets or anything? And he hasn't touched one, so I just nabbed that. And I could only afford the one day, but that was, that was good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it, it was really extra surreal for that because I wasn't planning on going and I felt like, I don't know, it was all like extra new to me. It's my first one I've ever gone to. It was all of that. I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't even have, you know, a program or anything for the longest time. <laughs> I was just sort of taking it as it came. Yeah. 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 What about you, Luke? What's your thoughts on it? Um, um, you've been obviously been before, but what did you think of this year's one? Well, my first one, as I can recall, was um, it would have been 2014. And that was the when the Laura Palm, uh, when Cheryl, um, Cheryl Lee and Dana Ashbrook was there. And I saw the ad on Facebook. So I hadn't watched Twin Peaks for ages. And then I just thought, oh, I'd like to go to this. But the tickets had sold out. So I posted... Um, on the on the Twin Peaks UK Fest, is there any tickets available? And managed to get one. And ever since then, I've just gone every year. Um, but it was different this year, obviously. Like Mark, um, it was my first U, uh, US festival. Um, so it was a big, big thing, big thing to save up. But it's, it's what I wanted to do. So, I mean, I'm not going to compare the two because they're both amazing experiences. I met some of the most amazing people. Yeah. Um, the UK is always, yeah, it's very close, close to home. So it's going to be a lot more cheaper. But I mean, I, I'm American at art, so you know, I'm always, I always love the, I love that American one. But the UK Fest is great, and Lindsay does a fantastic job. All the staff are great. Um, I enjoyed it. It was okay. Um, yeah. it was very busy. I thought there was more people than there normally is. It was, yeah. Um, yeah, there seemed to be more people. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought it went well. The signings went well. Um, the donuts had kind of upgraded. They got even better <laughs> this year. Quite a lot, yeah. Um, so I had quite a lot of them, actually. It was a really good one. I heard that um, they got um, donuts from across the road. They got like, yeah, just right across the road, just a donut shop or something. Wow. So Lindsay and the organizers got loads of donuts. And um, then they had a problem with cherry pie, but they got some in and end, so that was quite nice. Yeah, there was a well. bit of a cherry, cherry pie uh, uh, ra um, famine, really, wasn't there, going on? Because mm. <laughs> yeah. I saw, I think, there was, yeah, a, there was a plate in <laughs> There was a plate of them, and we saw them at near the end, and there was a plate that they weren't like scattered around really generously like the donuts. I saw, I was just like hypnotized by donuts left, right, and center. Yeah. Never saw any cherry pie at all. But yeah. in the, in the, in the, um, in the from the festival, um, yeah. I went and met Christian. I met Christian and Mark in the US, yeah. the US festival. I met. Um, Mark on flight in Iceland, in Iceland I met him right. and we got on yeah, the plane yeah. together so they took wow. me around everywhere <laughs> so I knew the guys so it was good to see these guys again and Christian had got this house out and, and rented it out so and Blake came over and things so it was just it was just a really nice welcoming so I had that to come to anyway. And I did, when I've been to the festivals before, I've always like got B&Bs yeah. or Airbnbs. And I've been on my own and just saw, saw my friends, family at the fest. So this were extra special because I hung out with them at, their, at our place as well, which was lovely. Um, the Q&As were good. Um, the Sabrina signing was really good. It was nice to see her again. Um, yeah, I think I really got on with um, Sean Bolger. I thought he was really nice. Um, I gave him all a stick of rock from Brighton, yeah. which I was really pleased with. Uh, I did want to put all the names on him, but I couldn't get it done in time. But um, yeah, overall, yeah, lovely experience. Great venue. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, loved the, um, the fancy dress as well. And just basically, it was just very 
professional from the get go, very warm, welcoming, and just my family. Everyone just love everyone. And then you guys get to get uh, go into the train car this year. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it from the outside. Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't. You know, I wasn't really looking at the program for most of the day. Mm. And then I sort of looked at it later on. I was like, oh, I missed that. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get a VIP ticket, but I uh, uh, just uh, well, was yeah. the car, really. But uh, no, I loved the white launch, right? that was great. That was good. I remember going yes. to the US one, but the, the UK one was uh, excellent, just because that many photo opportunities and everybody enjoying themselves, getting drunk. Yeah, that was great fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember, that, I remember that madness in, in, in the yeah. Black Log ship on Sunday night, I think it was, or whenever it was. When we all went in there, that was great fun. <laughs> Yeah. Brilliant. Were you there, Mark, for that? Uh, Sunday, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was after a big group photo. I think it was just outside, but still got a few photos in between that, yeah. Yeah. I was just standing uh, out of the train car, actually, yeah. But no, I seen the group photo, that was great. Yeah. yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> there was about 25 of us in there, wasn't yeah, there, yeah. Luke? Yeah, I think yeah. I was just uh, literally just at that point, I think. Or something. You come in, I was trying to get a few people to come in for that, actually, but. Yeah. That was cool. I, I really like that. Yeah. I, I got I got to see one performance in the um the bar, you know, the Roadhouse bar. Yeah, yeah. Because they had live bands in there all weekend. Yeah. And uh, did you get in, see any of that? Any of you guys? Did you yeah. get to see any of the live? Crown Queen. I I were both there actually. I a point November rain. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I were there. Yeah, that was great. Uh, I I well, I've seen a few bands as well, but. I think everybody's used to be drunk at that point, really, so. <laughs> Five pound of paint as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then prices. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, just, uh, uh, just great seeing everybody from the community, like everybody else is sort of saying as well, really. Definitely. So, yeah, but uh, no, I made it, uh, I uh, only got like, uh, uh, like one of my signings, which was uh, Jane's, because it arrived late on a Sunday. I just missed like the signings, but because I know Damon and James, like James just went up, but nah, I was like, I stood with Blake, we're chatting with Sabrina for about half an hour anyway, so that's the thing, so I got to know Sabrina over the last year, because I met her in LA and it's in February, so just they sort of talking to her to the end of the series and like things like that, really. Yeah. And, uh, like sort of stuff that she's sort of, sort of doing just now, and uh, she's seen about a lot of fun boils, she phoned her up and asked her to come back, but. She said no, which she, yeah. I, I know I thought they'd have asked her, which is pretty surprising. So, now nah, it's just a, uh, just good to talk about stuff like that, really. But uh, just so I think everybody's waiting to see what David and Matt want to do. They're going to make a new one, basically. Yeah. Just everything that you're sort of feeding into with everybody else. So, From what I can hear, it seems that Mark is quite quite up for it. Mm. I think David's quite up for it. So, uh, it's just a. Uh, I think it's just if he has the sort of idea. Yeah, to, I think I think most of them are up for it. Yeah. I, don't, I think Showtime is up to more Twin Peaks, or if not Twin Peaks, than anything else David might be interested in. Yeah. Um, Mark is seemingly up for it. And then David, I think it's just if it comes to him, as with most of the stuff, it's just if he has the idea and yeah. motivation and also like the money, if all that seems to coincide, then he'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Much like this time around, yeah. You know, everything fell into place eventually. <laughs> it took a while, but it did fall into place. Well, they've been writing it for about three years, I think, the script. Four and a half. Understandable. Yeah, it's a long, long process. Yeah. From that to filming yeah. it, then post-production, you know, all that, you know. Yeah. Five, four or five years, you know, it's a long time. Four and a half. <laughs> but yeah, but it, it, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> he's so exact, isn't he? <laughs> But if um, if it comes back, it probably, as David said, would probably take another four and a half. <laughs> so we're not going to get it like as quick as we want it to get it. You know, that's for sure. No, yeah, that's it's all right. Not going to be like quick turnaround of a year or something. No way. No. Yeah. That is. It's like. <clears throat> God, I was just going to say, just like to add, on that festival that we're going back to, um, the the glass box as well. The, yes. The, it was amazing. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That was amazing. That was a really and great. Also, 
it was missing. It would have been nice to have had some more American fest people there. You know, they're missed. Mm. Jill Watson and loads of people like that. Erin Craver yeah. and yeah. So mm. yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to go to an American fest because I know so many American Twin Peaks people. Yeah. Yeah, same yeah. older, I think. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's worth it just to get over, eh, just by enough bending snooker me actually just to see it. Yeah. yeah Save uh, up, George. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> that's, that's definitely worth it. Eh, but eh, I think like more, uh, quite a lot of the US, best people are going to the festival disruption as well, so they can you know, afford that. I can't do both. I, I would have really loved festival exactly. disruption. Blake, Blake's been everywhere. I know. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Now, that uh, disruption is quite expensive, isn't it? I don't know how much the t- tickets are. Hot cakes, something. Yeah, no, definitely. But I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, 100, yeah. Bloody yeah. 400 dollars one of them. Yeah. No, def- I, yeah, that'd be. Yeah, it's not a cheap one, that's for sure. Yeah. It's over there in sort of February. It's really good to sort of go over there. Like, I don't know the location sites. Yeah. We created Glastonbury Grove. Well, I think Josh does that, <laughs> doesn't he? Hmm? Josh does that, doesn't he? Uh, now, uh, now me, me and Joel Peacock recreated it. We actually dug it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was only me, him and Josh that knew about it because we kept it a surprise for everybody else in the group. But we sort of, we, we had yeah. the a few months, we sort of snuck away and, uh, like he dug it, but uh, the ground was dead soft, and then Josh was telling us after it, like they actually used it for Glastonbury Grove in the new series. So, <laughs> spoiler there. So, <laughs> <laughs> the ground was soft. So, I think that's the first time it's been dug up since they used that again in the series, which is pretty good. So, yeah, but I have done a reenactment, which is uh, pretty good. But I uh, it got dark about five o'clock now, and I all started hitting, so which is really scary. But uh, uh, the glass box is excellent in the UK. Oh, definitely. That was a bit of a highlight, that one, that's for sure. Yeah, I was, uh, I was getting the angel in, with Louis, 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 Louis Jones as the angel as well. Oh, yeah. fluffy, yeah, it was yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those pics look really yeah. great that um, Emily took. She took some fa- yeah. fantastic shots. I think yeah. she does photography as a hobby or something, but they would really come out beautifully with with, with fluffy in, in the box, you know, with the wings and everything. Yeah. Some of those shots were amazing, you know, that she took. Yeah, some, some really, uh, just, uh, nah, but that's if I have Twin Peaks fans, there's just some really talented people as well, but it's great. Yeah, I was really lucky that I brought my camera there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Photography, and I wasn't planning on going to the fest, but I went up north, to, I, I went to North London and take my camera whenever I go there. Which, you know, I was lucky enough that the next day I happened to go to something that was really worth taking pictures for. Oh yeah, definitely. No, I think George, I would get um if when I when I go to US Fest, I'm thinking about getting a camera. Yeah. Get some really good pictures. Yeah. Because I just don't think you get enough on your camera phone. Hmm. No. It doesn't have the same feel. No. Yeah. yeah. I just take a proper camera. Yeah. 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 yeah because yeah. I mean the scenery out there and everything like that with a good camera is going to look amazing, isn't it? You know, in yeah. the US. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's good shots of the waterfall and the woods or whatever, you know, they're going to, they're going to look stunning on a good camera. Really good white and white winds as well, really. Mm-hmm. Excellent. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely try and get over next year. Excellent. But definitely try for that. Uh, definitely try for the UK, probably a bit UK fest again next year, because there's quite a few people that are interested in that. They want to come over, so might be up for renting a house again, like, so mm. that happens. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I'm coming next year. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll try to move. Yep. Just trying to get a house sorted for it. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Any of you fellas going to see Christabel playing? She, she's doing a few tour dates next year. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I don't think I got any tickets or anything. I no. did see any Scotland ones, actually. Yeah. Because I met him, she just played Edinburgh, and I was, well, I couldn't afford it because I soon up the festival, I said that earlier, so definitely say next time she's playing like Scotland, I'll definitely go and see her. Yeah. But, yeah, she's really chilled out, she's not sort of like you would expect in TV, really, she's really sort of laid back, I mean, she's just a really nice person. Yeah. Yeah, she's dead removed from her stage performance, so she's just really sort of chilled out, sort of out there, which is pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but um, she's, I don't know, she's, she's doing some dates at the moment and she's playing, I think it's April next year, isn't it, Luke, that she's playing in London? Yeah, um, come over, Mark, we'll all crash at Frank's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll try and make it back. In, in, a, in a, a studio flat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, you'll be sleeping in the shed. I totally cleaned me out that weekend there, actually. <laughs> yeah. that, that was just like travelling about London, really. Yeah. But uh, that's, uh, just, I think, uh, uh, other things uh, with the fest, but uh, just as, like, I think Stuart was saying, because it's just great, like, just, I was just firstly sort of the bunch thing. Same with probably jobs, I mean, you can actually talk to antiques for other people as well. Yeah. Is, uh, good for that. But, uh, like, it's just good seeing so many young fans there. It like, was, yeah, I was I'm really, um, that was really heartening to see, yeah. to see a lot of new fans, obviously, I, I would imagine, I'm just guessing, that um, a lot of them probably yeah. got, uh, went there um, through season three, yeah. or perhaps, and then, then they may have watched the, you know, the old series after that and got, yeah. you know, explored it, or they may have done it the other way around and watched the, the old episodes with their parents and then watched the new series yeah. together, I don't know. But it was really nice to see all these like 16, 17, 18 year old yeah. bands coming along. Yeah, yeah and I would say, speaking of three boys from Asbury there actually, speaking to one of them, he was saying like he got the actual uh, gold box a few years ago and watched it there and then watched season three. So there's yeah. a, lot of, like, a lot of kids that have been buying it through media, but that is yeah. fun. It's always got to be popular, sort of unique and stuff like that. I thought it was really cool that, they, that yeah. we saw that. That was really, it was really nice. So it was a big influx of them as well. More yeah. than any other years I've been there. It's, it's just sort of, I think, it's, you say, it's just picked up um, yeah. interest again. Because of the, the new series and whatnot, you know, and um, it's just fantastic to see this um, influx of new fans constantly, you know. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, but even a series will be totally influential compared to the last time as well because you we'll probably get like Christopher Nolan doing anything of a series soon. Yeah, you, probably, you might get Scorsese doing his last of a thing in TV. Yeah. I mean, maybe Coppola coming out of retirement to do one. Yeah, so it's just that way. It's you possible, can, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I, I can't a couple of people <laughs> I mean, I can't. Even, I don't even watch The Walking Dead anymore, and I'm not even watching like the new series of Westworld and stuff like that. Just because of the last series, and still sort of watching that. I, I don't know. It's, it's sort of like just being down to TV again. So mm-hmm. even going back to sort of box set quality TV is just a little bit boring just now. Just maybe because of like the creativity and what they mm-hmm. produced Stephen Free, really. I mean, could yeah. you ever imagine that ending? Nobody could. <laughs> no. 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 I don't know, everybody thought you'd have got answers because Mark Frost was involved, but they just totally pulled the rug under everybody. Really, so, but hey, uh, I quite, uh, I, I love the last episode, there's a lot of uh, fans, like hardcore fans, that are still trying to sort of get to grips, like, with them, really. Mm. Understandably, everybody sort of got problems with things that happened. Mm. But, that's mm-hmm. just what impeach, but you compare that in the last episode of season two, and that's just as confusing for all of them. Oh yeah, I mean that, that ended on a that ended on a what the fuck moment as well, you know. Okay. So <laughs> you know, there's no it, there's no difference in that. Well, you know, Definitely. so um, just as just as like we have, where the hell do we go from here? Kind of ending, isn't it? As to just like the way this ended, you know, yes. where's well, it going to go next? If it does indeed go anywhere. Are you meant to swear on your podcasts? Sorry? Are you meant to swear on your podcasts? <laughs> oh, yeah, so, you know, it's a family show. <laughs> Everybody. And we're all family, so... <laughs> so it's all right. Yeah. Well, I don't mind. I'll give it an R rating or something, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what you said about... Um, People expecting like there to be answers just because of Mark Frost and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, for one, I think I think Blake and I were talking about this. Uh, people really underestimate uh, underestimate. Um, yeah, uh, Mark Frost's ability to be like surreal. Like they think of him as the straight man, and they also underestimate David Lynch's ability to be like normal because they think everything he does is just weird or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but like if there was no like common ground there, I don't think anyone would have. 
I don't think their pairing would have worked in the first place. Because you know? uh, Lynch can do the Lynch can do the emotional pull the heartstring moments as well, and the comedic really moments and the light moments. You know, it's not all dark and you know yeah. and uh, nightmarish or surreal all the time. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at Straight Story. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't get any more emotional than that. You know. Yeah, definitely. You know, that wasn't shot. That wasn't like a razor head or all like that. That no, was just nothing like, like it. Nothing like it. Just a story about families. Yeah. 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 So you can prove you can do it. You know, you can do. You can. You can hold it. You can sustain a film, and uh, still grip you, but in a different way. You know, you don't have to use yeah. all the elements and all that stuff. Yeah, it was a good interview with yeah. the Elephant Man. Although there were a few surreal elements in that, but mostly it was a pretty straight story. <laughs> if you pardon the expression, it was a straight story as well. You know, it was a, again based on the true story. That's twice he's done that now. Um, yeah, with John Merrick and Alvin Strait. Yeah, and um, and they're full of emotional depth. You know, there's not a lot of lightness of touch in it. Not a lot of comedy in both of them. But they're they they but they are all about human emotion and um. Humanity and dignity. You know, the, the human psyche and everything like that. And I think that's, and he does that really well, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think George wanted to say something. Oh, no, I was just saying, um, there was a good interview with Mark Frost earlier about, I think it was meant to be talking about Final Dossier, and then they just kind of got carried away with, like, Twin Peaks and Houses and everything. But he was talking about, you know, how they wrote it and how his whole two book structure was always going to work because um, you, you know how they wrote it was they were over Skype and they just sort of edged out the story and then they kind of parted ways like halfway through and David Lynch kind of got full control from then on directing and finishing touches on the script and then Mark just had full control over the book and they didn't really cross lines at all in that way so that was always going to work for them. So for all the people who are like thinking, oh, the books don't count, or they're not like canon, or whatever, I, I don't think that really applies, you know. Yeah, not that, that, I totally love the books, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I only just read the book today, Final Dust. And if you guys want to come back, or some of you want to come back and talk about the book, we can definitely do that next. Yeah. Go to the Final Dossier, if you like. Mm -hmm. Subject. If you're if any of you are up for that, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna, I'll let you go now, and uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. So thanks very much, um, Luke. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Mark, and thank you very much, um, um, that other fella. I should have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for thanks for Brilliant. all of you for joining me. Thanks for having me. We'll speak soon. Okay. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care now. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>